my goodness. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Challenge Your Host with the most handboy double and cross handboy TV. Welcome back. And you can I'm, I'm going crazy. So the premium Discord went up today. We sold out of all the slots that were available, which is crazy to me. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I just opened up a new premium. The free one is still gonna maintain for you. You guys can still do that in order to join that. All you got well, hold on, hold on, hold on. First of all, we're talking about Supreme Week 12, Supreme Summer 2019 Retail Resale Estimations today. And I'll continue on my tangent. Uh, what I want to say is the free Discord you guys can join by sending me a screenshot of you subscribe to my channel. Uh, to my page at hype underscore nj on Instagram. If you guys want that free one with the premium one, I actually have a full site now. Man, we sold out in like what 40 minutes, 40 something minutes. Man, this is like it's crazy to me. Like, I I don't know, man. Like, I just never thought that one day I'd be able to just sell stuff. Like, oh, I've always wanted my own website, I've always wanted to sell something, but now we out here. I'm not once again, this is I'm not taking we're not taking any crazy profit from this Discord. Pretty much, we have a lot of fees to pay for like website, domains, monitors, uh, or like we still have to pay for a lot of that. So, therefore, like it's not crazy profit, but still, regardless, I'm just like looking at it on my computer and like still kind of crazy to me having like your own Shopify marketplace and everything. Just and maybe some people ask me about merch, and I'm like, I don't know, that's some that's like some crazy shit to me, but like if that ever does come around, like. <laughs> Maybe one day, but anyways, as I said, we're talking about Supreme Week 12 return resale estimations. I do gotta be charging my phone because it's about to die, and you know, your boy you gotta stay plugged up and charge up. But anyways, as I was saying, we're gonna be talking about return resale estimations this week, which is basically I talk about the expected retail prices of the all the Supreme items that are dropping, as well as the expected aftermarket resale price that they will be going for. And today I got the FTP bear on body today, man, one of the greatest hoodies to be made by FTP in my opinion. But anyways, you guys know how I like to do it: least hyped to most hyped and least resale to most resale. But before I start start i do gotta talk about my three biggest announcements because we are talking about resale right here so i do gotta talk about stock x one of the biggest resale platforms out there man i gotta talk shit about stock not stock x itself but the people using stock x are what ruined it in my opinion and that's what i think is pretty much right I have opinions are wrong sometimes but that's what i am thinking because listen people be undercutting like crazy now this is not why i make these videos i do not make these videos for people to be undercutting and just going down by dollar 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 to like you're literally making under retail and then becomes an under retail steal there's just no point in reselling if everyone just does that. So please do not do that with any of these Supreme items dropping this week because then everyone will be nice and happy, making that little bit of extra money, and everyone's just gonna be more satisfied with the drop. And second of all, I do state my opinions in this video, so you know, don't get butt hurt. And third of all, you know what I'm about to say. If you want that good luck, that good karma, that good blessing on Thursday's drop at 11 a.m. Eastern, all you gotta do is subscribe to this subscribe right down there hit that red box logo hit that red supreme box logo on drop day even though there's not a box logo this week there is still some good supreme red branding so if you hit that red button down there you guys will hit all the red items that you need because you know red items are going resell for the most i don't know what kind of correlation that is but anyways we're about to head into this you guys know how i like to do it release type to most type from least resale to most resale sorry if i can't really talk much but we are about to run through it real quick i'm gonna move over so you guys can see the image a little bit better and if you guys don't know how we typically do it, we always start with the hats. So first hat I want to talk about is the Racing New Era hat. Oh, we got a few different colorways. It's releasing on May 9th, 16th, 2019. We have four different ones. We got all black one. It looks like it's really a racing hat. Kind of reminds like a NASCAR vintage vibe, but like this is still not a cop regardless. Oh, uh, it does have, there's like four different colorways, like real colorways. We got the green, the black, the yellow, and the purple. Purple has a little bit of yellow on it and black. Yellow has a little bit of red and black. Green has a little bit of blah, 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 whatever. I'm sure nobody really cares that much out there. This is definitely much more of a personal cop and not something worth to resell. And estimated retail on this one is going to be $48. But it is a cool different design than what Supreme normally does. Because if you guys don't know, Supreme always does that typical like flat hat, box logo, design over it, pinstripes, no pinstripes. It's cool to see something different. Then we go into another six panel, which is a toy Uzi one. And this one has multiple colorways, five of them, a white, a red, a navy, a gold, actually six, a turquoise, green, and a black one. So the black one looks like it's a black on black. Oh, no, it doesn't because Uzi's on the back of the camp cap, not on the front. And as I was saying, this also the hoodie version, of this is going to be dropping, which we'll get into later. But four, five different colorways, resale is not going to be there, especially with the no branding on the front. Like that's all everybody wants to see. Then we go on to the Wash Twill shirt, which will, oh, by the way, that one will be retailing for approximately $48. Uh, then we go on to the Wash Twill shirt, which will be retailing for approximately $128. Five different colorways. Ooh, it has that classic, it does have that classic logo on the top left chest, which is pretty, pretty dope in my opinion. I really do like this logo. One of my favorite logos actually to ever release from Supreme. Uh, as I said, we got a yellow, a white, a black, a green, a green apple looking one, and a red one. 
that green apple I could see that fruit tea the white fruit tea the green little button up right here and then that the green apple oh man I'm a genius I'm just kidding I'm just kidding but like that would be a cool little fit pick though and by the way if you guys want to check out my personal fit picks make sure you check out my page at Thomas Severco I'm trying to get the Time Boy TV name back. Someone took that shit from me. I'm pissed, but we're going to work on it. Uh, next, we do go on to the Gore-Tex collaboration. This one, it's either it's always either hit or miss with this Gore-Tex stuff, and this one was a major miss for me. So we got the pants and the jacket. Uh, the jacket will be retailing for $258, and the pants will be retailing for $198. $198 for some pair of pants. Not it for me, man. I, I just don't see myself dropping that much money on these pants. And resale will not really be there. The only time resale is really there for these type of like Gore-Tex collabs is only if it's like some really cool brand. Like the Dragon one, that one's doing well. And if it's a cool ass jacket. This one, branding is to a very, very minimal. As you guys do know, I talk about this all the time. If branding is pretty like loud on the actual piece then it will most likely resell pretty good not all the time but most of the time and this one definitely has zero supreme branding on the front and really on the back of what i can just on the neck i mean that's ah, i don't know it's not it man it kind of like has some vintage colors though it does have very vintage looking colors the red and white is probably my favorite than the black and white and then the, the blue and that reebok looking i don't know why i said reebok but that like reebok used to use these colors and then we got that vomit green same colorway for the pants 198 dollars as i said and once again this is estimated retail by the way updated retails will be on my page at hype underscore and j and this one is also going to be a brick uh, next up, we do go on to the Pooty Tee, the Pooty Tee, which is an all cotton jersey. Has what looks like to be a bunch of uh, cupids. I, I would compare this to the cupid statue that I draw. It looks like very similar to the actual artwork. Looks like it's some babies, though, for real. Uh, man, not it either, man. I don't like these all over print jerseys. It's just too much. Like, too much going on, but we do have a supreme branding on the left chesticle. Looks like to be in that regular flat supreme branding. Uh, all cotton jersey, as I said, estimated retail on this is $88. Reason being is, as always, per usual, higher retail means higher quality. So most of the time when they do have higher retails, it's always the better quality compared to the $36 t-shirt. But next up, I do want to talk about a piece I'm actually looking forward to that's not even that hype, which is the first I know, uh, is a rib stripe crew neck. It's an all cotton fleece and that Gucci colorway, man. I don't know why, but Gucci colorway hasn't been popping this season or the past season, but I remember SS18 or Fall Winter 18, was it? Fall Winter 17? The Gucci colorway was popping on a bunch. Of, nah, yeah, because I remember they had the shorts. They had those Gucci colored shorts. Man, oh man. We got the red, white, and black on top of the red. Then we have the gray colorway, the neon green, the black, the peach looking, and the white. Man, I'm I'm, I'm actually kind of feeling the red one right here. It's an all-cotton fleece, and it's honestly not that bad. Estimated retail, though, on this one will be approximately $148. But after looking at this piece a little bit longer, the only color that I would like to go for is the red one. The other, ways, other ones are definitely a brick. The red might be worth a little bit, like in a size small or something, but I don't see it doing crazy numbers. It could be a low-key sleeper, though. You never do know to, like, European. You can base it off European style times and European market, uh, depending how limited it actually is over there, is pretty much a direct correlation to how limited it will be in the u.s uh then we go into the persistence of memory button up what looks like to be its original artwork by salvador dali silk it's actually silk but the silk by supreme isn't really that good i'm gonna be honest with you i felt stuff before in store and it's just not that great but we do have three different colorways the pink the orange and the black we do have that clock on the left chest if you guys remember they dropped the tv version of this the same one I want to say during week six, uh, when they had all other, I actually do have the Rust colorway as well on my page with some off-white Air Max 90s. You guys wouldn't want to miss that one. That actually killed like the internet. That was like one of my most uh, liked photos. So I appreciate that so much. But once again, it doesn't always go about likes or metrics on social media. It's about how happy you truly are. You know what I'm saying? Uh, then we go on to the Supreme Playboy Leisure Top as well as the Leisure Shorts. Now the shorts seem to be a little bit more hyped than the top, uh, but basically the same two colorways. We do have a white and a black one. All cotton jersey with C. Sear sucker panels. Uh, yeah, this is some like real pimp shit right here. This is like some real pimp shit from the 90s, early 2000s. But that Playboy logo always looks so nice. Like, I just, ah, oh, man, it's hard to always pass on this stuff, but most of the time it just doesn't come out good. So, but the pants aren't, the shorts, as I should say, are not that bad. It's all cotton jersey with sea sucker panels. So, same thing. The quality might be like a little mesh, like a little basketball jersey. Uh, all, it says all cotton jersey. So, it's like all cotton pants. I'm assuming the black ones are it, though. I, I do like the black pants. They do look very simplistic, though. It kind of looks like something you could find, like, with an H&M and Playboy collab if you really wanted to. I'm pretty sure they did that, actually. All it does is have the white uh, bunny 
iconic white bunny on the bottom on the bottom left of the actual pants and the shirts i don't see much resale besides me the shorts in a size small or large uh estimated retail by the way on the top is 118 dollars on the shorts is 108 ten dollar difference for some pants versus some tea uh but then i would do want to talk about a hoodie that's dropping this week that i am actually looking somewhat forward to which is the toy uzi hooded sweatshirt i'm hoping i see little uzi vert in one of these soon man i, I really do uh then we got an all cotton fleece with an embroidered logo which is very very important and it's original artwork by andy howell six different colors i want to say tan navy gray red turquoise green and black it does have that uzi on the front now somebody actually got one of these leaked and not leaked but sent to him by accident during one well, like week three i want to say i saw some in store i mean i saw some in hand photos and videos it's all right the pills i mean not the pill but the uzi pill hasn't done well like the uzi stuff hasn't been doing that well in general this hoodie is expected to be 148 dollars resale may be a size small in a black or i mean i wish if they had their natural colorway though i'd be hyping this up like crazy but the colorways are nothing crazy just some basic ass essentials a resale i could see maybe going to like 168 dollars but if you guys take a look a lot of the good hoodies this season are not recent. The Apple hoodie, no resale. The classic ad hoodie, no resale. Toy Uzi, most likely going to have no resale. Like a lot of the good, what I think iconic hoodies or going to be iconic hoodies are just not resale for a while. But, you know, market is always a little bit different. They always want the more hype stuff and much more limited items, which is the thing. They kept supply, I'm assuming this season on these hoodies, very, very high. Then we go on to the last few items that we're going to talk about. First of all, I want to talk about the Ma Top Kid Skateboard, and I'm actually pretty hyped on these, but I kind of realized that it's the same exact graphic, just different background color. So I might only be trying to come with, I might only try to cop one. There might be a way to cop the full three, but I expect the retail on these is $50 per piece. I'm, I'm, I don't know if they're going to let you cop the full set, because I know for the, uh, the, uh, the weird ass collaboration with the skate decks with the eight of them, the eight set, I forgot who what artist it was, but it had the pictures in the center. You guys will probably be able to comment down below what it is. They let you cop all eight. These, I'm not sure. I think they will let you cop all three, but there's essentially three different colorways, a pink, a black, and a turquoise. I'd honestly cop the turquoise one. I am a big fan of that one. Resale will not be that great. Skate decks had not been reselling that great because the Supreme whole like six and a half hours later customer basis i want to say that took me a minute to come to mind but customer basis has changed last three items i want to talk about the most hyped which first of all we got the front's keychain resale will not be great on this but there's only one size and one colorway 24 karat gold plated so there's a little gold action right there but it's gold plated i mean it's a gold keychain got that diamonds on the front supreme ran all over actually if you guys remember ty sean did this in a magazine estimated retail is 34 dollars on this one i could be a little bit more though uh because there's 24 karat gold plated typically they don't do that uh but the things is just sick ass when they dropped a t-shirt of this t-shirt's a big brick but the keychain does look to be pretty dope uh 34 dollar retail i expect to go maybe 60 dollars at first then it's going to drop down to bay probably around retail because it will be in stock in store for quite some time none the last two pieces Pieces. one of them is a truck new york painted trucker jacket which i don't know why i feel like i'm having deja vu i thought they already dropped this before i don't i don't know why i thought that but it is all con 14 ounce denim with button front closure hand pockets lower front and chest pockets with button closures printed graphic with a rhinestone applique on back now this is going to be an item this is an item a size small blue you're golden you're definitely golden as <laughs> i'm telling you man even the black one the black size small is pretty great as well it does have that beautiful image on the background estimated retail though i know a lot of people are looking forward to this estimated retail is 278 dollars and it's honestly it's like in the middle it's like could be a little bit worse and it could be a little bit better retail wise the graphic is just a straight rectangle of the New York City skyline with the twin towers in the background. Man, this is a sick piece. $278 plus retail plus tax puts at $320. Uh, just about, I'd say retail goes to $450, $400. But I could also compare this to like the Grand Prix jacket. It got a lot of hype at first. Then depending on supply, it may go down. But typically jean jackets are very limited because they are very good thicker quality. Therefore, they do jump up a higher retail. But next, but not least... We go into the Supreme McDermott Pool Q. And this is maple with linen wrap and inlaid logo case included. 58.875 inches. Man, yeah, this shit's kind of dope. But retail, yo, I hope y'all ready to go crazy right now. Estimated retail on this Pool Q is literally $398 for a Pool Q. What the shit, man? I don't even know much about Pool. I played like a few times with my homies, but like... $398 is definitely not worth it, man. You guys are crazy, but it's also because it's a great company that makes McDermott is like a great quality brand. Supreme is Supreme. They can charge basically whatever they want. They are hiring the retails. Uh, so that's what we just got to expect for the rest of the season. And resale on this, I'd say maybe $450, but with such a high retailed item, 
Also, first of all, as always, supply demand always matters. The banner is going to be pretty high. Supply is in the question right now. I expect it to be the middle stock. So I'm saying approximately, I'd say maybe get another $100 on top. Maybe. Uh, depends on stock once again. But I will be updating my page at hype underscore NJ. Honestly, oh, I forgot about the work shorts that are not on this list. $110. Not worth it at all. Uh, checkerboard boucle camp cap $48 kind of a dope hat right here but hats I'm not great with I don't like flat brim hats four different colors a red a blue a uh, gold and black not really worth it $40 retail I'd say maybe 60 65 70 but after fees and shipping you're making absolutely zero dollars and I think that is about it for this and yep that's it I went through every single item this entire drop is for Supreme Week 12 SS19 hope you guys enjoyed good luck on this Thursday drop this video is posted in the morning hopefully so hope you guys enjoy this one good luck Please, if you guys want to join Discord, stay tuned for my Instagram for any restocks out there. I know there were a little bit of shipping issues, like shipping issues. It was weird. I got to talk to Shopify about it. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Good luck. Subscribe to the channel. I hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, good luck on this drop. Okay, first of all, though, I go for jacket, pool key if you got the money, and the front grill. After that, it's just pretty sleeper week. It's not the greatest week. So anyways, third week in a row. I can't stop talking. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.